Mayday, Mayday, comedy is in trouble. Comedy is in trouble. Mayday, Mayday. This place got a new face, killing Joe Spades, got a Joe Blake, chilling in a new face. Loose space in a new place, what did he say? Eat a tic tac, killing like a true play. Step back and I never say no. I was winning over there, now I'm running out of flow. Got a feeling in the air, but I'm feeling kind of low. Got a ceiling over here, and I think it's gonna blow. Hey, this place got a new face, killing Joe Spades. In case you did not know, it is time for another show. I'm Aquarian OG, and you should get to know me, because I want to know what you watching. Hey, I don't know what's going on. Well, I kind of do know what's going on. So I'm going to say this. Ever since Will Smith smacked Chris Rock, these comedy clubs was doomed to have the ripple effect. Everybody start mimicking, thinking it's okay. Y'all killing comedy. If you got that one friend that don't know how to act right in public, excuse me, don't take that mofo nowhere. Leave his ass or her ass at home. They are fucking it up for everybody. We're trying to go out to these comedy clubs and have a laugh, yo. Y'all going out there trying to find somebody to fight. You can go out and go to a UFC crowd and find that. Real easy. Yo, so... We got a video right here. Actually, we got a couple videos right here. This first one is um, Johnny Mitchell. Comedian. He was in hostile territory. (laughs) And I mean hostile territory. The crowd was not on his side. But he was hanging with it. I got to give Johnny Mitchell the uh, Brass Cajonas Award because any, uh, any, well, other than Bill Burr. (laughs) No, but um, yeah, this this is a comedian trying to work a crowd that he did not have a connection with. It wasn't that he didn't have the confidence to do what he was doing. He was... You'll see. All right, let's go. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please do so. And uh, hit up Johnny Mitchell. His name is under the... Uh, and just Johnny Mitchell, just like it sounds. No, nothing special. Plain and simple. All right, so the comedy club violence. We got... We, yeah, if Man, don't take that, that friend with you. Let's get to going here. I'm trying to go enjoy me some of this outside. You see, I was already out. Got the glasses on. I was out there chilling already. Chilling. It is beautiful outside, too. Nice and green. I might even have to take it. I might have to go out to the shooting range today. I'm trying to get the wife to be like, I don't want to play video games today, but she seems like, I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, shit. oh, I actually like you. I actually like you, dude. Hey, Damn, I love hearing. It's used the language, you know. The I'm like, yes. <laughs> to, to a white guy that grew up in the '90s, you're just like, oh, some oh, some okay. gentle ears out there. Dangle you off the roof like vanilla ice in this bitch. Play with me. Are you sure tonight? What time? Play with me. Are you sure tonight? Okay, did y'all catch that? From nowhere. Dude was threatening to throw him off. You remember the incident? I don't know if you, well, if what age you are, but there was an incident with Vanilla Ice and uh, Suge Knight had a uh, incident, a run in, and Suge Knight had him hanging over the balcony off of a um, multi story building, skyscraper ish. I'm not sure what the numbers are, but so somebody in the crowd, in this crowd right here, just threatened to do that to him. Needless to say, he's in an all black crowd looking at the, uh, Area it looks like maybe like a hotel or something like that. Unfriendly territory, wherever the hell it is, because the crowd is not on his side. And it's not that he's a bad comedian; it's just that he doesn't have a connection with the comedian. If you watch comedians like Bill Burr or Gary Owen, that often go into black crowds, you know the only white comedian in the black crowd, cliche. They have a connection. They make the connection. They're like, all right, here's what it's going to be like. We're going to start talking about this and then boom. This guy, he was not too far off, but he wasn't too close either all the way. But he started to swing and swing. 
But if you pay attention to stuff he says, he tells stuff about himself. Oh, oh, tell me how beautiful it is. I'm gonna dangle you off the roof no, like Mike vanilla ice stop. in this bitch. Just play stop. with me. Just Are you sure tonight? One time, stop. play with me. Are you sure tonight? One time, just one time. Just Who? one time, I dare you. Who's? I dare you. Can you identify yourself? If you're in his posse, there's a bunch of you. Posse. Like, champ or something, <laughs> you know? The fight is up. Sorry. Fight is What's up. the matter, man? Sorry, boss. Something happened. That's a personal problem, you know? I mean, really, what else is it? You guys, a comedy club, you watching a comedian and you making threats. You're an ass. You're just an ass. Like, why would you go to a comedy club and or a comedy setting and be offended? Y'all need to cut this. Y'all need to stop being so damn soft. You went to a comedy club. You went to a comedy. You may or may not become a victim. <laughs> I did before. Oh. I will a thousand percent turn and run. Are you shitting me? I'm not gonna stay and fight. Fuck. He said. <laughs> he said I ain't sticking around if you want to come after me. Smart man. A thousand percent turn and run. Are you shitting me? I'm not gonna stay and fight. Fuck no, dude. I'm six foot six. We cover a lot of ground. I'll just step over this. Hell no. Fucking... That's got to be a hotel. Walk away. You know. So now we gotta redo, we gotta get the room again. Hey, you right, right, he knows it. Is it because I called her, accidentally called her Ketra instead of Kitra? I love that, I've known her for eight years, you know? Yeah, keep going, man. So right there, he knows some people in the crowd, so he must be familiar with this area. Or has been in this area multiple times, because there's the people that he's associating with as if he'd known them before. There's something about this crowd that he knows, he's familiar with it. That's what I was getting. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate you, fam. But he's still nervous as all hell. Okay, so you see that um, the server. That back area is like another serving area back there. I'm like trying to get a layout of this place. So the outside over here, it must be an outside area off to where he's looking at right now. Then they got the closed off space, and you see that middle right there it must be like a drop off. That's what he was talking about. That's why I think this is a hotel or something like that. If you only knew how GI am, dude, they have no idea. This is my Check this out. GI am, dude, they yeah, have no idea. Part. Thank you. Pimp? If you only knew. If you only knew how GI am, dude, they have no idea. This is why, Cameron, this is why you can't bring me up as the white guy. You can't do that next time. I love doing this show, but it doesn't matter. We gotta get, we gotta move past race, dude. The economy's fucking, you know what I mean? We got way bigger problems. DJ Khaled's little brother over here is just like <laughs> killing me, dude. Now, now you're speaking fucking, now you're speaking Persian, dude. See? What's going on over here is this, there's this guy off to the side. Apparently he's lighter skin. It, you know, Arab looking. He's working the crowd. But the crowd is just hostile. At least a few people is just hostile. So I, I assume from what he's talking, the guy is some kind of Hispanic. Puerto Rican, Mexican. Some, they talk fast, so I'm going to go to Puerto Rican route. Maybe somewhere in the islands or something. You know, some, uh, you know. Now, now you're speaking fucking, now you're speaking Persian, dude. And he's, he's saying the N-word like he can really say it. <laughs> you title tell us. Why, because you're from Kuwait? I don't know, somebody get it on camera, bro. This is just crazy. Nice, dude, I feel like... I feel like I'm back on I feel like I'm back on Rikers, you know? He said he feel like he back in Rikers. That's clue number two. He didn't been somewhere. I I don't know. I didn't say anything. Cameron, Cameron, you gotta consider some Cameron, you gotta consider some security. Whoa, 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 are we cool? I ain't worried about you, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate <laughs> you, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> hey, hey, you scared, bro? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> okay, thanks. <sighs>
But check that. Clue number three. That he's been somewhere. He's been through some stuff. When he saw him, when he was being approached, what he did was approach. <laughs> he made sure the approach didn't leave him trapped up against the wall. Two people could just triangle his ass in and be like, bing, 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 you know, done. They came up, he was, you know, he, yeah, he looked scared because he was scared because he said he was scared. We knew it was anyway, but what he did was he positioned himself so he could get the hell up out of there. Because I assume because the server came from that side that he can get out that side. There's like an exit or something like that. But he ain't trapped up against the wall. You know, bail out. Bail the fuck out. Because he said, yo, I'm running if some shit happens. So you know he know where the exit is. You know what I mean? But this dude got some straight brass ones. Let's go right here. Yeah, a little. Let's I appreciate this, you, man. Let's, let's, let's go back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cameron, you got to consider some security. Whoa, 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 are we cool? He read that right away. Thanks, man. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Hey, you scared, bro? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I mean, like, dude, what else? Okay, <laughs> he is handling his business. You be dumb not to. What the fuck is happening? Does everybody just get out of the Twin Towers in downtown LA and come straight here? You know? Go in, go in. My God. Number four, he know the route. Officer first, then the comedy show. I am continuing. I can't. I, I got a whole. Don't shoot. Don't shoot, motherfucker. It's the other way around. Are you shitting me? Don't shoot. I'm surrounded by people who want to shoot me. I like you, bro. I fuck with you. <laughs> Because he has a kindly face, he's not interrupting the show, and he's laughing. And he's with a very beautiful, nice girl. I'm saying, like, why else not him? You keep calling me Billy. That's funny. That's funny, dude. I love it. I'm on a group. I take another group off with you. Damn, you're bragging that you paid with a Groupon in front of your chick? Damn, did he really say that? See... That's where he got hostile, more hostile at, because he got clowned in front of his girl. Okay. He got a girl with him. He trying to be a big, tough man. Y'all got to know how to act when you go in public. Y'all think all these girls be... If you were a girl that wants you to be fighting all the time, you all got the wrong type of chick. Drop that mother... Get that shit out of here. She gonna get you locked up. You keep calling me Billy. That's funny. He paid with That's a group on and he bragging about it. I'm on a group on. I take another group on. Damn, you're bragging that you paid with a group on in front of your chick? Wow, you've given up, dude. Oh. You're a big spender. No, I'm, I'm not losing out. We hear you. We're saying you're really fucking sweeping her off her feet. But you think you have a group on. Yeah, I think you have a group on. I'm going to buy a model, you know? Oh. oh no. The dude is Hispanic. Like Hispanic, Hispanic. Okay. That's the hot attitude. Definitely Puerto Rican sometimes. Somewhere from over there. Puerto Rican, Colombian, Salvadorian. The Salvadorians will fuck you up, yo. Oh, man. Out with the racist hey, shit. Hey, Nobody hey, cares. Hey, We're hey, all hey, racist. Hey, Shut hey, up. Hey, now that the big guy's gone, I feel emboldened, you know? <laughs> that guy's scary as fuck, though, right? My heart was... <laughs> 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 he said, oh, Because I'm good with my right. I'm used with my left, but I got over here. See? He was thinking the way he... Yep. Telling you. He was full... <laughs> Damn, he got experience. Got because I'm good with my right. I'm used with my left, but I got over here like, hey, how's that thing going? Ah, knock your fat ass out. Anyways, you know, I spent two years in prison, so I see the danger. Bro. Yeah. That means you fucked in your cut in your bullshit, gay You got cut. Damn, bro. That guy's been fucked been in every boy. hole. You've never been fucked? See, exactly. I'm way more G than you, bro. I'm way more gangster than you. Wait, why is dude so damn angry? Because he don't believe that this dude was in prison. He knows some, there's some clues about somebody that they'll drop that you 
that's, that's other people will go past or something. To, he knows some stuff. He know a little bit of something. He might not be good at it, but he knows it. Why is the dude so angry? I'm still trying to figure out why he's so damn. That means you fucked in your cut in your bullshit, ain't You got cut. Damn, oh, bro. That guy's been fucked. I see the danger. Yeah. That means you fucked in your cut in your bullshit, ain't You got cut. Damn, oh, bro. That guy's. Don't been take the whoever homie this bro. is. You never been fucked. See, exactly. I'm way more G than you, bro. I'm way more gangster than you. You snitched. Hey, you snitched. That's how you got out of your bit, bro. I took that shit. Hey, See, this is that bullshit. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. And it says this guy is now suing the venue for where the show took place. The nerve of this mofo. You ruin everybody else's time and then you gonna go and sue the venue? But you gangster. Fool, you started it. You know that was recorded, right? You know they got you on camera, right? I don't know about some of these people trying to be too hard. Stop that shit. That shit is old. The 90s is the day. That shit didn't end it. We're 20 years past that game. Let that know. That's, I'm hard. I'm hard. Ain't nobody trying to been hard since 97. Stop it. You're just getting people hurt. You just ruin shit for people and getting people killed. It ain't bragging rights to make mamas cry. Cut this bullshit out. This is how people get killed. Uh, I hope dude is alright. He probably a halfway decent comedian. I gotta check out the rest of his stuff. Hold on. Did he say I ain't no snitch and did he turn around and snitch? So if you pay attention to the yelling, he said, I ain't no snitch. I ain't no snitch. I told him I didn't say nothing. What's going on here? He snitched. That sounded like something a snitch say. I don't know to the bottom, but from here. He trying to prove it too hard. Who that's really a, hold on, let me back this up here. Who that's really a gangbanger says, I'm really a gangbanger. And ain't you a little old to be a gangbanger? You got rooms in the hotel or something like that. You look like you was a little older. Mid-twenties. You should be about fading out of that. If you older than that and you're a gangbanger, dude, come on now. You should be you should be teaching people how to do better, to be better. This world need more mentors, not more gangstores. All right, let's hit up this next video. This video right here is from Mark Neuer, N-O-Y-E-R. Here's another incident at a comedy club where people don't know how to take a damn joke. Keep your ass out of the comedy club if you don't know how to take a joke. Stay your ass home. If you that friend of that person that need to keep their ass home, don't invite that motherfucker. Uninvite that motherfucker. Uninvite. Go by yourself. Leave that, Leave that fool at home. Y'all are fucking it up for everybody. My girlfriend loves when I wear this hat <clears throat> straightforward correctly. She says I look like a dad. 
Like, Damn. Like that. Imagine how much you'd like it if you stopped killing They kind of do it like a young dad. Like that entire baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the baby daddy. How much damage? You tried to shoot a shot. Is this a comedy act, motherfucker? I was trying to tell jokes. You're too busy hollering at old Miss fucking Paddywagon over here, okay? We're talking over here. But why don't you shut the fuck up? Because I'm talking over here. Oh my god. All right. Dude was kind of talking the whole time. In a second. Hold on. No, wait a minute. We all heard you all roll up with your bike. It was fantastic. It's a beautiful bike. <laughs> it, was, it was fantastic. Well, I would like to hear that, but if you're going to go outside... See, right here, his friends should have been like, dude, you're going too far with this. You got bad friends if they let you do shit like this. You are a bad friend if you do shit like this. Sit your ass down. I was having a conversation with, I think, like seven people is in this, this audience. Is this music night, or is this fucking It's an open night? mic. Big dog. Well, I'm just saying, comedy sucks. What kind of bike do you have? Who right, gives a fuck? Me. You want to go outside right now? No, I have he a said bike. Me. As soon as I'm done with it, I'll probably get back to you. Well, you might want to take off the glasses by the time I get back well, to you. Let's fucking do it right now, then. No. Why? Why is it all? I don't know about you, but in the hood, when somebody do this, by the time they do this, you already got something coming across. Ain't nobody good. Who are you flexing on? Come on, yo. You too old. Look at you. Got a ball spot. You too old to be doing this shit. You look like a 40-year-old fool. I don't know. He just dude. He probably like 50-something. Head. Mid-50s. You like a midlife crisis jerk. What you fighting this kid for? Because he cracked a joke that wasn't even at you? Trying to prove how hard you are, you just showed how much of a puss you are. Um, I'm just trying to tell jokes. I got a leather jacket. It's a comedy show. He said, We're having a conversation, and you're just talking about a dude. So, you thought it was going to be easier talking over music? What else is there? Karaoke? This dude's an idiot. I see guitar, so I assume there was a band there. This dude's an idiot. Don't be this idiot. This is one thing I teach my kids. Both of them. Don't be the neighborhood asshole. Trust me, I have it. Can you go sit back down next to your lovely friend while I tell my ha-has? My <laughs> while I tell my ha God bless you. Thank you for having your clientele in the bar where I'm telling jokes. Now, if I can get back to that. What Kill him, dude. <laughs> Phones out recording right now. What we're doing is telling jokes, and they're laughing, and not at me. And you signed up to do it. Yeah. I know what I did. It's right there. Look, it says Mark Complete Neuer. Right there. That's my first and last name, and I gave you my middle name just to clear it all up. Nathaniel, Nathaniel, nice to meet you. Hey. Yeah, come on. I like your bike. Hey man, I don't know you, but let's not. Just cool it for a sec. Let's. Do Just I not look cool? Let's I'm icy chill let's, right well, now. Who's the one that fucking started? I'm over here having a conversation with some people. I know. Whoever's buddy this is, slap the shit out of him. Because he ain't tough. He ain't a one percenter. He ain't got an air patch on his jacket. Your jacket brand new. You probably just got it. Why is you so... You you should be on a gold wing. On the gold wing. Cruising through skylines and, and landscapes and shit. Not fighting in a bar. You too old for this shit. Look at you. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> but look at this fool I mean look at this fool there's somebody who can't handle their drinking he shouldn't be on his bike acting like this you don't get somebody killed that's a one he's one to fucking get on hey, let's de-escalate okay, okay motherfucker you want to keep going on it hey now. excuse now. me we got it the mic's I'm, off I'm the, the mic is off pushed back hey I'm Just not even doing stop. all 
Yeah, short ZZ top looking oh, beard. Get the hell out of here. At least they make good songs. You need to just go and go the way. No, we're not having a good time. I'm over here talking to someone. They go Mark Neuer's name right there. Man, these well, these fools out here. He did look like a dad though. Another one for the big kahunas. The brass kahunas award. Mark Neuer. Y'all, y'all go. Y'all keep doing y'all shit. Bravo. I don't want to clap too much because, you know, mic popping and stuff. But hell yeah. These folks out here in these 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 nightclubs, they y'all need to cut y'all need to cut the shit. If you that friend that got a friend that act like this, don't take them motherfuckers nowhere with you. Let them wonder why they don't go nowhere with you. Because you don't know how to act. You can't handle your alcohol. You can't take a joke. You're not fun to be around. You ruin the times for everybody. Stay your ass home. I'm Aquarian OG. I'm O-U-T. And stop fucking up comedy for me. <laughs> Deuces on the flips, damn it. <laughs> Shit. Tired of motherfuckers. <laughs>